Shower shutoffs now, they're causing a whole lot of grief, right, for people in need of an outlet, simply maybe a hot shower, things we take for granted every day. But some local businesses are stepping up in this time of need. CBS 13's Anna Giles is live in El Dorado County. And Anna, a lot of folks are coming through for these people that are so frustrated. Yeah, employees at a salon and sports club in El Dorado Hills are putting their skills to use today to help people who are dealing with these outages. They're providing them with free hair washes and showers. But it's just something to like give you a little magic in your day. Ainsley Lauer knows how a hairstyle can change a day, especially a day when someone has no power. She's offering free hair washes and styling to those who don't have the resources at home. It's already inconvenient for them to like not have hot water and not have electricity and stuff. So just make their lives easier and give them something a little special. Christina Sullivan brought her daughter Bianca to the Gypsy Dawn Beauty Bar after losing power at their home in Cameron Park. She says the little things go a long way. So she feel much better about herself, especially if our power goes back out. So this will be good for a few days. Sullivan has been using the showers at the El Dorado Sports Club right around the corner from the salon. General Manager Betsy Balala says she wants to be there for her community and is welcoming anyone without power to come have a hot shower. We we're very busy with showers yesterday, um, which just kind of makes the club have a lot more energy. Balala says the sports club was packed yesterday with people just trying to carry on with normal life. We've had a lot of people in here working throughout the day, getting their work done and using the Wi Fi. Yeah, we spoke to a grandma and grandpa who brought their grandkids to that sports club that you saw in my story there just so they could have something to do. Child care is a huge issue for people during these power outages, and we're going to be talking more about that coming up at six. Yeah, I think the problem is we don't even know how many days this is going to last. So at least this is a glimpse of positivity in their day. Anna, thank you. Yeah.